morning. I'm Dr. Faith Elliott Rossing, Director of Economic Development for Queen Anne's County, and I am so pleased to be in another manufacturing facility here this morning. It's beautiful outside, but it's beautiful inside because the people behind me have a lot to share about a new product that they're going to be able to produce here in Queen Anne's County. And so I'm at Centerville Manufacturing, which is also the home of Tag Along Trailers. And the important part about that is they welcome a lot of uh, local employees from our high schools. But more importantly, with the equipment that they're being uh, going to show us later on today, they're going to be able to make a new product to manufacture tanks here in Queen Anne's County. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, Mr. John Duran, and he's the owner of Centerville Manufacturing. We want to congratulate the county for doing this. We would not have made this investment had we not had the grant from the county. Um, I think it's wonderful the way the county is trying to promote business in the county and of all the counties we could be in we're lucky to be in Queen Anne County. Uh, we are building these tanks they're 500 gallon stainless steel tanks and we actually have an order for them. They're going to New York State Department of Homeland Security. One of our guys here Ryan Seavers I'd like you to say hi to him. Got the order and we can tell you how that came about. Um, the order was uh, basically online uh, through the New York State online uh, commerce um, and we bid it using other companies tanks basically and when we were doing that we realized that we could only get the tanks from uh, um, out west the closest place I found was actually Ohio so of course you had to freight them here which kind of made it too costly to bid so we did get the order, which has allowed us to get machinery, thanks to Queen Anne's County, helping us with this grant. The equipment that you see behind us uh, was made in Turkey and was imported into Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, Maryland happens to be the import headquarters for the U.S. And Lisa from Coal Tube here, come on in, Lisa. Uh, was also the recipient of the same grant. We're buying the equipment from them uh, and the money staying in Maryland. It's benefiting two companies simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. We were delighted to be able to uh, negotiate everything with Centerville and then the county stepping in and helping them uh, get their make their dream come true. Uh, these two machines together are going to be They've already got the job, as they mentioned, and they're off to a great start, and there's all sorts of potential, so we wish them well. Okay, from the Economic Development Commission, I'm going to introduce Mike Whitehill, who will then introduce or uh, turn it over to Dieter Scherer for the presentation of the check. Yeah. Hi, this is a great opportunity, and I'm very, very proud to be here. There's nothing like the smell of burning lard from cutting oil and the sound of welding going on in Queen Anne's County. Things being made, actually being made here in the county is something that you all ought to be proud of. Every Queen Anne's County citizen who drives across that bridge ought to look twice, think twice before leaving home. There's opportunities here if you'll get off your butt and come down here and get a job in Queen Anne's County. Uh, John Dorn has been offering uh, employment for folks in Queen Anne's County for a long, long time. Uh, you have to learn about the businesses and economic development has been a very strong proactive force in helping us learn where the jobs are. Let's just go out and make things in Queen Anne's County. I tell you, there's nothing like it. It makes me proud, uh, proud as a county citizen, and uh, this is about as American as you can get. And with that, I'd like to introduce Dieter Scherer, who is the chairman of our uh, commission. We're very proud to be able to present a grant of $50,000 to Centerville Manufacturing. They're an innovative company that not only with these new tanks that they're able to produce for custom jobs, they also produce another entire line of innovative products that go from anything from laying cones automatically on the road to manufacturing trailers, as they mentioned. And with this grant, they'll be able to add six new jobs to the county with more anticipated later. So, John, I would like to thank you for being such an innovative company and offering so much employment for our county. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.